Good afternoon, everyone. You're now watching the TVS Noon News with me, Mina Ruben, for the 4th October edition. Borneo Evangelical Mission BEM churches have been called to continue serving their members and the community. Telangusan Assemblyman Dennis Ngao said they should also use or utilize their resources to reach out to those outside their church community. He added that the churches should go beyond their comfort zone to help those in need. He also urged churches in town with good financing to reach out to churches in the rural areas, especially in Telangusan. On another note, Dennis reminded church leaders to play a prominent role in evangelization. He said these at a BEM Ferry Point 25th anniversary dinner at Miri. Prime Minister Tun Dr. Mahadir Muhammad hoped more effective training could be conducted to prevent a recurrence of the tragedy in which six members of the Fire and Rescue Department drowned during a rescue mission. He said the death of the six firemen while on a rescue mission for a teenager who fell into a disused mining pond in Taman Putra Padana Puchong yesterday was a sad tragedy. The tragedy is the first in the history of the department involving a unit of its personnel killed at one time. He said this after opening the 6th Asian Ministerial Meeting on Disaster Management at Putrajaya. The Customs Department has proposed to the government to amend the Customs Act 1967 to impose canning and a minimum fine of 100,000 ringgit on those who sell smuggled cigarettes and liquor. Customs Director General Dato Sri T. Subramaniam said the heavier penalties were aimed at curbing the sales of the contraband items. He added that the outlets selling smuggled and counterfeit Cigarettes and liquor in the country can be controlled through these punitive measures. Meanwhile, Subramanium said the Customs Department had conducted 1,063 raids on premises to identify distributors and manufacturers of counterfeit liquor nationwide since September 21st. This involved an estimated value of 40,571 ringgit and total tax of 168,375,000 ringgit. Well, that wraps up our TVS Noon News today. Hey, Manor Ruben, thank you for watching. TVSorat.com, anytime, anywhere. <laughs>